Hello amigos, what's going on? Seabass here with another video and Zion just launched the update for the ZY Play app. So it's finally supporting the Weeble Lab and I guess for Quaze 3 Lab as well because it's the same application. And yeah, this video is all about the new features of the ZY Play app. Yes, it's finally there. After a lot of struggle with the beta app, which was completely in Chinese, I can finally test the WeBuild together with the ZY Play app and its new features. I'm not sure if they add more features during the next weeks, but the most features Zion announced for the WeBuild app are already integrated, like the HD wireless image transmission and the Wii touch system. So let's jump right into the app. Before we are able to use the ZY Play app, we have to connect the camera to the gimbal by plugging in the right cable. Then we turn on the Weeble Lab first and then the camera. Make sure Wi Fi and Bluetooth on your smartphone are enabled. Go to your Wi Fi settings and choose the Weeble Wi Fi. If there is a password required to connect, try 12345678. This should be the standard password for the Weeble Wi Fi. Then open the ZY Play app. Press connect device and choose the Weeble app. Now you should be connected to the gimbal. To activate the new HD image transmission feature you just have to press the button right here. Honestly this is a real cool feature but it doesn't replace a real monitor. The latency is just not good enough to see everything in real time. But it really works pretty good and much better than I expected. Let's have a look at the other functions. On the right we can scroll through the most common camera functions, which we can change right in the app like aperture, shutter speed, ISO, white balance, but also some ad settings like guidelines or the follow focus control which I usually most for zoom to be honest. I guess they integrated already a second one because you have two motors on the Crane 3 Lab. On the left we have a button to get back to the starting screen, a button with modes for panoramas and time lapses, a record button right in the middle and a button to, for active track. That's a really cool feature, especially if you're filming alone like I do it most of the time. I can simply draw a square around my face and go away from the camera. As long as I'm facing the camera, it's following me. In the top right corner you have also a button to center the camera at any time. Very similar to the older versions you have a panorama photo mechanism and various time lapse functions. When it comes to time lapse we can use the normal mode and the app works only as trigger or we do a motion time lapse. Exactly as on the Crane series you have to set at least two waypoints and you're ready to start. You can also choose between photo and video time lapse. That was a quick overview of the updated version of the ZY Play app. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and I see you next time. Bye!